Pocatello. And usually when you think of like rain and all this stuff in the summer, it breaks the heat and humidity, but this is really not breaking up much. No, you know, once this system moves through, we aren't going to see much change in either the temperature or the humidity. And in fact, by the end of the week, we're talking about highs around 90 again. All right, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, we are. We have had a hot July, and it doesn't end now with live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Today is kind of the coolest and cloudiest of the stretch. We're not finding much of the way of rainfall right now, just a little mist. There are more showers. They're scattered in Connecticut. We've got one moving through uh, southern Hartford. Uh, but steadier rain off further to the west through New York and New Jersey. And we'll watch the uh, approach of that later on this morning and into this afternoon. It's why there is still a flash flood watch in effect through the daytime today for most of Rhode Island, Bristol and Plymouth counties in Massachusetts and up to Boston as well. Today's future cast includes some heavy rainfall at times that could lead to localized street and poor drainage flooding. Right now in Providence, gray skies and high humidity. It's warm, 75. Not a bad start. It feels like 80 when you factor in that very high humidity. We're at 75 in Tiverton, mid-70s Smithfield, and East Greenwich coming in at about 75 as well. Here's satellite and radar. You can see now more detail this second batch of rain and thunder that's headed our way. I'm actually watching what's developing off the coastline because I think that has a better chance of coming up and hitting our area later on this morning. And that's some heavy downpours and some occasional thunderstorms. It's all forming along the second area of low pressure. This front will shift to the south and east, but very slowly over the course of the daytime today. As it does push away, things will dry out and skies will eventually clear so that by the time we get to tomorrow, we're back to mostly sunny skies. So it's a little bit of a change in the forecast today from what I was thinking yesterday. I thought the second round of rain would be here and through our area in the morning, but it's looking like late morning and afternoon for the timing of it. Winding down this evening. Most of the nighttime hours are going to be quiet with just cloudy skies and humid conditions. Any fog around tomorrow morning will give way to sunshine, and it looks like a pretty decent day on Thursday. Slightly less humid than what we've seen. For this morning, upper 70s by 11 o'clock in the morning with, again, those showers returning this afternoon. Showers and thunderstorms possible. Lower 80s for high temperatures. So that's actually typical for mid-July. This is an average temperature. We've just been well above average for really almost every day this month. About 82 North Providence, 83 downtown, 83 on the east side. You know, Chief Green Airport yesterday we picked up about a quarter of an inch of rainfall. So 83 there right now about uh, for a high temperature. Garden City at 83. Could see some additional rain in the rain gauge today. Barrington at 82. South Coast, Westerly, Block Island right around 80. Jamestown I've got you at 80. <clears throat> 80 as well, while Northern Rhode Island will come in around 80 in Woonsocket, 82 Pawtucket and West Warwick in the low 80s. You can see pretty similar temperatures everywhere. Not a lot of sun today, maybe a peak of hazy sun at times, but showers and thunderstorms and very humid, which makes it kind of an iffy beach day. About 84 in air temperature, water temperature at around 72. And on the bay today, waves 1 to 2 feet. Winds are generally light, but if you get into a thunderstorm, some heavier stronger gusts are possible. Tonight's some patchy fog. Temperatures about 65 to 70, which just makes it a little bit cooler than what we're waking up to this morning. Your Thursday looks like a nice day. Warm and muggy with the temp at about 86. Seven-day future cast, 88 Friday. Yeah, shower thunderstorm in the forecast for Friday, but not until evening and night. And then just a pop-up thunderstorm Saturday. I think much of the day is dry with a high of around 90. You can see Sunday and Monday I have us near 90 as well with another chance for a shower or thunderstorm Monday night.